Hi, uh, <coughs> <laughs> hello. Uh, my name is Luna Meno, and uh, um, this is my husband. Tos Lu Luna Meno. <laughs> but you're Luna Meno. You are Luna Meno's husband, right? I am Luna Meno's husband. Some people call me Tosh. Um, we are now um, in New York. Uh, the Tosh's father, Wallace Berman, has a show in New York City. So we came here from Los Angeles yesterday. And I'm really tired. My legs are so tired from the walking. He's so weak. <laughs> um, anyway, so Wallace Berman is a permanent uh, artist uh, in Los Angeles. Um, he is, uh, I call the beat artist, is it okay? You, you, you can say whatever you wish, and I'll, 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 I'll pretty much agree with you. And then he was uh, uh, active in 1958 till 76, and he's influenced a lot of uh, different artists in, at the time, um, especially Farris Gallery. Farris Gallery, yes. Uh -huh. And then uh, in, uh, Influenced Dennis Hopper and Ed Ruscha and Keen Holtz and lots of people. Associated with all those artists. Yes, employees. and then uh, Wallace Berman in Dennis Hopper's Easy Rider, and then Andy Warhol's film as Tarzan well. Tarzan and Jane regained sort of. Yes, and then Tosh Berman refused to be an Easy Rider. Mm -hmm. um, because you don't like the catering, right? I didn't like the food, and I decided to uh, not to hang out. It's kind of boring. I used to live in New York in 80s. I came here from Tokyo because uh, at the time, um, New York City has Studio 54 and I love to go to the club. But when I got here, they already closed. Long time concept is started here in New York. I was always never be right time and right place. And, that moment, always missing that moment. But long story short, now I'm living in Los Angeles. If you are interested what I have done, uh, my documentary, Who's Luna Meno, released this year. So I hope you're interested to watch the movie. What do you think about Luna Meno's art? Luna Meno's art is fantastic. First word comes, well, like Luna, lunatic. That's more European with a twist of Japanese. And of course, Luna's nunchucks are totally monster. Who is Luna? Minnow. I was kind of surprised I'd never heard of her before because she's been doing so much work for so long. She's all about the artificial and about clothes and the masks people wear. And Alun is all about putting the mask back on. I want you to wear a costume and make me into this kind of artificial creature. You kind of don't want to see behind the scenes about an artist and know how their personality maybe shapes what they do, but artistic people, they're kind of hard to be around. You know that there's two. There's two Luna Menos. I don't think she's Luna Meno anymore. I think she's a character within her piece. It's not documentary. It's not reality. It's imposed image on a reality. She's working with another part of her personality. And maybe Luna, Luna Meno is a character, so she's doing a performance as well. It's very much about artifice. Check, check. <laughs> Luna Meno. 
now. Oh, she's terrible. And then uh, um, uh, very recent, my project is called Let Sewing Sisters. I am making a music using a sewing machine noise. Uh, and recently I released an album. Uh, and I will be Honey Tuesday in September 14th in Brooklyn. Please come to that event or party or whatever it is and we go to have a good time. See you there. See you there. See you there. See you there. There, 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 there.